Hello and welcome back. So this is a basic Apache course that I made that gives you a simple but effective training on the Apache systems. If you're still not good at basic flying in the Apache and want to continue with this mission, I would recommend going to Range 3 and then point up YouTube and watch Brad Nick's A64D flight lessons as he was an actual Apache instructor and has really good content. So the whole purpose of this course is to teach you the systems all in one place and take you from a zero to a hero on the digital battlefield. Okay, so range one is the basic navigation range. Go navigate and fly to the preloaded waypoints using your TSD. Range two is the advanced navigation range. Here you'll be entering the five given waypoints and fly to those points. Okay, next is gonna be range three. It's gonna be the landing and hovering range. There's multiple landing areas and different sizes to practice with. Then there's three different size hovering areas to work on your hovering, and then there's going to be a solemn course to weave through. Uh, my best time is 37 seconds if someone wants to try and beat that time. The next range is range 4, which is going to be the Hellfire range. If you need practice using your Hellfires, this is the range you go to. Range 5 is your IHADS rocket range, where you'll fly around engaging targets with your rockets while lining up your IHADS. You have 76 rockets to hit 21 targets. Okay, range 6 is going to be your long range rockets. Here you'll be in the CBG seat using the controls to get rounds on target at different ranges. Range 7 is the IHADS gun range. This is where you're going to be practicing taking out targets while the gun is slaved to your head. Range 8 is a long range gun range. This is going to be the aerial gunnery practice from the CPG seat. Here you'll be engaging targets at different ranges with moving targets as well. Okay, so range 9 is going to be the PID range. Here you're going to play a game of Kims and identify the given target within a minute. This range will give you feedback on the target that you engage. That way you know if you engage the correct target or not. Okay, so range 10 is going to be the boat range. This is where you're going to be practicing your deck landing qualifications by landing on four different sized landing areas while the boats are moving at 12 knots. Range 11 is going to be the barrier range. Here you're going to use the barriers as cover and concealment, and then expose yourself to engage the targets downrange. Engaging. Lasers off. Target destroyed. Okay, the last and final range is range 12. This is going to be the radio range. Here you're going to input a given frequency, and if you did it right, you should hear some music. Okay, so yeah, that's it. That wraps it all up. Uh, download it and give it a try. As always, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.